The following is an exclusive presentation of the Alabama High School Athletic Association and the AHSAA Radio Network. Hey everybody and welcome into Inside the AHSA Weekly, a week weekly look into high school athletics throughout the state of Alabama. I'm your host, Brett Pritchard. Obviously, we're coming down to terms here in the state of Alabama as we get close to the playoffs. One more regular season week in the season and then we head into the playoffs. And uh, again, if you get in, uh, you have a chance. Some of these teams still trying to punch their ticket, still have business to take care of. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have Jay Jeffcoat on with us. You don't want to go anywhere. Stay tuned. More of Inside the HSA Weekly brought to you by Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores right after this. What's behind the CA? A world full of opportunities. Where are you now? Where are you going? Where do you want to be? These are all important in determining your path in life. More importantly, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? At Central Alabama Community College, you can be anything you wish to be. Don't put your future on hold and don't settle for less than excellence. We are Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. No, 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 wrong! Bring it in, guys! Take it Let's go over this again. Who starts off with a real Coke taste? Coca-Cola! And then Coca-Cola pitches the real Coke taste to who? Coca-Cola! How is Coca-Cola gonna give a real Coke taste to itself? Take a lap, genius! Coca-Cola takes a snap and then pitches the real Coke taste to Coke Zero running up on the right. You got it? Yeah! At that point, we fake punt the real Coke taste. Who fakes the punt? Coke Zero! Take a lap! Coke Zero! Real Coke taste! Zero calories! Hunter Price is Coosa County's Alpha Insurance agent and has the knowledge to help you with all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. With Hunter and Alpha Insurance, you have a team of professionals to access your needs, save money, and give you the personal one-on-one -on -one service in your time of need. Visit our main branch in downtown Rockford or call us at 256-377-4955 for all your insurance needs. Call Alpha. We are Russell Medical, and this is our corner of the world, where families discover nurses and doctors as excellent as any in the state. And the embrace of world-class care is as close to home as a trip to the grocery store, where the continuity of care isn't lost in exhausting miles of road, but just down the street. We are Russell Medical, and this is our corner of the world. Welcome back, everyone, to Inside the AHSA here weekly, uh, presented by Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores. At this time, let's go to the phone lines and welcome in a good friend of our show and also an integral part of what we do with the AHSA Radio Network, Jay Jeffcoat, our host of the AHSA Radio Network scoreboard show every Friday night from 10 till midnight. Jay, uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, again, glad you're, you're up and about because you carry some late nights for us on Friday nights. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they can they can get a little late, but you know this uh, this time of year, Brad is it's it's so much fun. I mean, and this show is so much fun, and you know I guess we broadcast for fourteen weeks, but when you put uh, you know the pre production time that we put in and making sure that ever all the technology is ready and uh, the different graphics and sounds that we use, I mean you're probably talking about an eighteen or twenty week. Uh, event by the time we're done with it, so uh, there's there's a lot of late nights and it and it lasts for a good while. But uh, you know, once it's gone, you you sort of wonder what you're going to do with your Friday nights because you, you you are having fun while you do it. It rockets by, it does. We always talk about that and how quickly it does go by, uh, Jay. And uh, again, this this scoreboard show uh, was formulated and created several years ago. Uh, you've been the lead host of this for uh, the inception, and we built this thing from the ground up and. Uh, you and John Kennedy and everybody at Lake Broadcast and really were the integral pieces that we needed when Randy and I came to the table and came to you guys several years ago to create the most comprehensive school board show uh, in the state of Alabama. So we're going to talk about that here in this first segment. And I'm, you're, you're so popular, we're going to keep you on for another segment. I don't know if that's been done yet on Inside the HSA Weekly, Jay. Sounds good to me. 
Well, Jay, let's talk about the school board show. Uh, again, it was a vision of Coach Savarese and everybody down there at the HSAA. And uh, Brad Law and, and some of those guys in the inception kind of were involved. Uh, and Brad moved away. And I thought he did a really good job with their school board show. And then there wasn't an official school board show for the state. So what better way to do it and tie it into the network than, than what we're doing it now? And uh, you guys have really taken ownership of this, reached out to everybody in the state of Alabama and allowed them to, to be part if they wanted to. And just talk about the extensive network of radio stations that we have now uh, due to this relationship. Well, and the, the great thing about it is we've got some really – uh, outstanding radio stations that carry the show too. I I was looking the other day and I don't remember if it was three or four, but I know it's I know it's at least three former uh, Alabama Broadcasters Association uh, Broadcasters of the Year uh, that that carry the show on their station. So uh, you've got that, and, and really the way the network expands, and there's four million people in the state of Alabama, and there may be quarter of a million to half a million that are not within range of us on a Friday night somewhere. There's like a, a northwest corner and a southeast corner uh, where we're still looking to fill a couple of holes. But other than that, uh, the whole state is full and just about any game you're driving to or from on a Friday night. I like it when we get messages. I got a message from uh, through our Facebook page from a listener this past Friday night and uh, said he was driving home from the Huntsville game. You know, Huntsville qualified for the playoffs for the first time in four years uh, this last Friday night. And um, and, I, and we had actually talked about that. He said, hey, you guys didn't talk about Huntsville uh, won tonight and qualified. And they had a big shootout, 38-35, and uh, qualified for the playoffs. And we actually did talk about it, but he tuned in after. <laughs> we had already talked about it. <laughs> but I like it when people do that because it lets me know that's really what the show is for. It's that, that family that's driving home from a game, uh, you know, that wants to hear what, what else is going on around the state. That's exactly right, Jay. And you guys do a really good job of making sure – uh, that we get every single score that is available on the air by midnight. And there are some schools now, it, it's on the back of the schools sometimes to, to get the scores in, and there might be one or two left out, but for the most part, the, the crazy thing about it is you, and usually Luke Robinson's your host, sometimes David Burkhalter fills in for Luke when he can't make it. You guys cover every single score and script everything down to such an art and such a T uh, that we do scores on the fours every four. Four, 14, 24, 34, 44, and 54, plus get a ton of interviews in from coaches, uh, beat writers, play-by-play uh, -play guys throughout the state. I mean, it's just so well orchestrated. So much goes into this, this school, board show every, uh, school board show every single Friday night. Yeah, there, there's, no, um, there's nobody that knows a high school football team quite as well as their radio play-by-play -play announcer. Um, because, because they watch them every Friday, and they're so involved with it, and they're so in touch with the coaches. And the beat writers are great, too. But beat writers, a lot of times, are covering more than one school. These these play-by-play -play guys are covering one school. And, um, you know, we had a play-by-play -play guy on a couple of weeks ago uh, down in South Alabama who had called, or I'm sorry, North Alabama, who had called every game without missing one since 1965 for his school. Uh, 570 consecutive games that he had called on the radio. Uh, that's got to be some kind of record, i got to think, somewhere. Uh, but that's, that's, an, that's just an amazing feat. Like I said, the play-by-play the -play guys on radio, they know these teams up and down. Not only that, but they can tell you who the mamas and daddies are and the aunts and uncles and uh, the older brother that played and what they did and – so you can you can have a little fun with that too, and so they're really they're really a great resource for information about a team when we need to know something. Well, they give you that in depth in inside look into that t that particular program, and as a play by play announcer myself, uh, Friday night was my 215th consecutive uh, Benjamin Russell uh, game to be broadcast. So after you and I talked about that earlier in the week, I went back and just started counting. I said I've never done it before. I've been broadcasting since 2000. Uh, I got a long way to go to catch that guy, no doubt about it. So, and he's still going. <laughs> so, so, I mean, say, he's every, gonna keep yeah, going. I'm just treading. I'm treading he's water. He's actually just, his broadcast partner now. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, I'm just treading. Broadcast. Yeah, I'm just treading water right now, JJ. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> hey, we're gonna go ahead and take. Him. One day, one day it'll happen. You know, we do 
Brandon, we probably don't thank him enough, but uh, the sponsors of the show, and that family sort of, that's grown exponentially too, but uh, Chicken Salad Chick, uh, obviously new to the network this year. Uh, Nesquik joined us a couple of years ago. Uh, LynchNissan.com, Russell Dewitt Centers, Southern Union State Community College and Southeastern Land Group uh, all helping to make that happen on Friday nights. They're kind of sort of the backbone of, you know, what allows us to do that. No doubt about it, and we got to got to thank them. It wouldn't be possible if it weren't for those guys. JJ, we're going to take a break. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, you and I are going to be talking a little brackets for 7A through 1A in the state as we approach the playoffs here in two weeks. So stay tuned. More of Inside the HSA Weekly brought to you by Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores right after this. not something you do alone. Team is plural. Team is arms, legs, blood, sweat, and soul. A lot goes into team. But what we take away stays with us forever. What value would you gain working with Lee Marketing Group? With four divisions under one umbrella, Sign Source, Lee Apparel, r and Media, and LMG Baker Advertising Agency, Lee Marketing Group offers a comprehensive approach. From logo design and branding to ad placement and everything in between, LMG can handle it all. For ease of time, cutting edge, results-driven marketing campaigns, think LMG. Lee Marketing Group, your comprehensive marketing solution. More heart. More drive. More will. More guts. More sweat. More dedication. More practice. More control. More clutch. More hard work. More fun. <laughs> more family. More love. More basketball. Baseball. College tennis. More every day. More everything. More. More. More to come. More Wilson. There is a strength inside you, unknown and imperfect, waiting. And when you think you have nothing left to give, when each obstacle in your path is more formidable than the last, that's when you'll find it. And with that strength, your greatness will have no limits. Let's go over this again. Who starts off with a real Coke taste? Coca-Cola! And then Coca-Cola pitches the real Coke taste to who? Coca-Cola! How is Coca-Cola gonna give real Coke taste to itself? Take a lap, genius! Coca-Cola takes a snap and then pitches the real Coke taste to Coke Zero running up on the right. You got it? Yeah! At that point, we fake punt the real Coke taste. Who fakes the punt? Coca-Cola! Coke, 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 Coke Zero! Take a lap! Coke Zero! Real Coke taste! Zero calorie! Where there's action. There's Encore, professional, responsive, dedicated, Encore Rehabilitation. There is a strength inside you, unknown and imperfect, waiting. And when you think you have nothing left to give, when each obstacle in your path is more formidable than the last, that's when you'll find it. And with that strength, your greatness will have no limits. We are Russell Medical, and this is our corner of the world, where families discover nurses and doctors as excellent as any in the state. 
and the embrace of world-class care is as close to home as a trip to the grocery store, where the continuity of care isn't lost in exhausting miles of road, but just down the street. We are Russell Medical, and this is our corner of the world. Welcome back, everyone, to Inside the HSA Weekly. Brett Pritchard here with you. HSA Weekly brought to you by Russell Do It Center and Building Supply Stores. We can't thank them enough uh, for their partnership. Still have Jay Jeffcoat, the host of the HSA Radio Network Scoreboard Show, on with us. And uh, we're going to shift out of talking about the scoreboard show and talk about these brackets, JJ, as we head into the final week of the season. And we're starting to look at playoff picture. And a lot of it's been set. Still some business to be taken care of, but there are most of the teams in the, in the one or two range of their seed of where they know where they're going to be. They're at home or on the road and who they're going to be playing. We'll start in 7A uh, where, frankly, for me, uh, it's a five-team race, a four- to five-team race in 7A, and the ones at the top are really phenomenal. No doubt the, uh, you know, when you get, you can never leave Hoover out of the discussion. Um because you'd be foolish to do that. But then you tell you, Central Phoenix City has been number one in 7A for uh, what's uh, most of the season anyway. And then, of course, you've got that terrific Thompson team that uh, beat Hoover on the road last week when a lot of people didn't think they could do that. Uh, you got Hewitt Trustful, all the points they score. And, of course, the 15, you, you talked about uh, McGill Tulin sitting there from 7A Region 1. Now, that's, that's a region that's still undecided at this point. Because and maybe maybe we're kind of maybe we're overlooking somebody else too. Because I mean, there's McGill Tulin sitting at number five, but who? There's six, seven. You got the Auburn Baby Tigers in there too, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not discrediting any of these teams, and I, I mean, again, you make it to the playoffs, you got a shot. But you look at the Hewitt Trustful, the Thompson, the Phoenix City, the Hoover, uh, those those teams there, uh, JJ, at the top of seven A are just really head and shoulders, in my opinion, above everybody else. And this Thompson team uh, is, is phenomenal. Obviously, it doesn't hurt to have Tua Tangavailoa's brother as your quarterback. He's really done a really good job. Mark Freeman moved up from Spanish Ford a few years ago to this program. We kind of had him on the radar watching them saying, look, this program is going to be one to be dealt with in a few years, and here we are. He's got them right there at the top of 7A. Uh, really, frankly, a program that's never won anything. They've got a little history, but Thompson struggled. They've been in a very grueling region uh, their entire inception. Uh, they've always been that team that's on the cusp of making the playoffs or on the outside looking in because of the, the teams they've had to play. But now they've etched their name at the top of that region and look to be maybe the team to beat in 7A. Yeah, they they do look like that right now. Don't forget about Central Phoenix City, and uh, and the other thing that I was going to say is don't forget that McGill Tulin has the seven A Region One Championship game effectively uh, coming up this Friday against Fairhope. So keep an eye out for Fairhope too. They're still sitting there undefeated in the toughest region in the state. No, oh, no doubt about it. Again, not discrediting, but uh, it's going to take uh, some really really good football teams to maybe knock some of those off in the north. Phoenix City's definitely. To me, got the inside track in the south, but McGill Tulin's been a thorn in their side the last couple of years, so we'll watch it. JJ, only about three and a half minutes left in this segment. Uh, not going to be able to make it through every bracket, but let's kind of go through uh, in a speed form and talk about teams in each bracket. Six A, who do you like going into the going into the playoffs? Well, I, th- I think when you when you start at six A, if you if you don't start with Austin, who are you going to start with? Um, They've, they've been dominant all year, as dominant as any team in any classification outside of Maplesville. So I, I think you start with Austin, and then you can build your list from there. Yeah, I do too, and everybody's going, Austin who? Austin who? Exactly. I mean, this year, I mean, because they literally came from obscurity to, to first place, but it helps when you got Asa Martin, maybe the best player in the state of Alabama, as your tailback. Some really good football teams in 6A as well um, that we won't have a chance to get to on this program, but you'll have to tune in on the school board show, everybody. Uh, to catch the the description and the details on those. Move over to 5A, to me, it's a one-horse race. It's Beauregard and everybody else. There's some great teams 
in 5A, but LaDainian Webb uh, is the returning tailback for Beauregard. They won the 5A championship. They're just putting up astronomical numbers every week. To me, it's Beauregard, and then until somebody can knock them off, uh, I'll, I'll just have to wait and see. LaDamian Webb is the best player in 5A, and, and so that certainly puts Beauregard there. But just I, I will just throw this out there. Keep an eye on Briarwood. Briarwood's number one. So, yeah, no, no doubt about it. Beauregard lost early to Greenville, so it kind of put a chink in the armor, but they really started to play strong. Let's kick it down to 4A, JJ. Who do you like in that bracket? Uh, well, how can you not like Andalusia? Uh, they're another team that's been dominant. They play in the toughest division in, in that classification. Um, so, to me, I think it's, it's Andalusia. Uh, you know, Tallahassee's really good. UMS rides really good. Uh, you head up to the north, you still got to deal with Madison Academy, and although they haven't been as dominant as they have been. But to me, it's, it's Andalusia, and, then, and I'm looking for them to play somebody in Tuscaloosa. Yeah, I agree. Quickly down to 3A, uh, J.J. Well, the, the 3A bracket's one of those that I, really is not as cut and dry as some of the other ones are to me. I think you've got a few that can uh, that obviously can make noise there, but Piedmont, uh, you know, is Piedmont, and, they're, and they do what they do. They're a dominant team. Uh, Mobile Christian looked like they were going to be, then a couple of losses in a row. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but uh, once again, Piedmont for me is, uh, is going to be tough to handle. Hillcrest Evergreen, another team to look out for. Uh, down there in uh, 3A. Now we'll scoot on down to 2A real quick. Uh, sure. Uh, what do, you want me to start? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, that's Got fine. It. I was just going to say 2A. Uh, I think when you get down to 2A, you know, Lynette's got a really good team. Uh, I think when you take a look around, they they actually had a an interesting game this past week. So uh, 2A is a little bit, to me, kind of wide open, but that's a, that's one where you might find a long shot team that sneaks in there. You could, but until somebody knocks Fife off, I'm going to ride. Uh, I'm going to ride with Fife. Depending, so you're going to go three straight? I'm going to go three straight, Hard man. To do. I am. And then in 1A, to close it out, uh, if you can find somebody that can compete with Maplesville, I'll tip my hat. I know there's some good football teams in 1A. But Look, Maples Bowl, some can, really good football teams in 1A. I have a source down in that area that, that has told me all year that he thinks Sweetwater has what it takes to beat Maplesville. Uh, for my money, if you're going to knock Maplesville out of 1A, you're going to have to get a 4A team to do it. But, um, <laughs> I agree. I agree. But, uh, like I said, keep an eye on Sweetwater. They can meet each other in the third round. Great stuff, J.J. Kind of the 7A through 1A there in about three and a half minutes. We can get it done. <laughs> Hey, J.J., thank you so much. I appreciate you being on the program today. Thank you, man. That's J. Jeff Coat, our host of the HSA Radio Network School Board. Every Friday night, you can catch it from 10 to midnight on affiliates throughout the state of Alabama. Stay tuned. When we come back, we'll wrap it up here on Inside the HSA Weekly. So you may not know it, but you've seen our work everywhere. For a combined 50 years, SignSource has been Central Alabama's premier option for all your sign needs. Custom signs for your business club or organization, wraps and decals for your vehicle or boat, full color banners for your big sale, or a photo collage on canvas for grandma, all with fast, friendly, prompt service. Check out our website at signsourcenow.com, 888-533-6758. Go straight to the source, SignSource. No, 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 wrong! Bring it in, guys! Take it, E! Let's go over this again. Who starts off with a real Coke taste? Coca-Cola! And then Coca-Cola pitches the real Coke taste to who? Coca-Cola! How is Coca-Cola gonna give a real Coke taste to itself? Take a lap, genius! Coca-Cola takes a snap and then pitches the real Coke taste to Coke Zero running up on the right. You got it? Yeah! At that point, we fake punt the real Coke taste. Who fakes the punt? Coke Zero! Take a lap! Coke Zero! Real Coke taste! Zero calories! June will mark 10 years of providing quality t-shirts, athletic uniforms, and promotional products for Lee Apparel. Our success is due in large part to the customers we serve in the Lake Martin community and the great state of Alabama. Our hopes are for many more years of success and growth. Contact Lee Apparel today at 256-825-0197 or on the web at leeapparel.com.
What's behind the CA? A world full of opportunities. Where are you now? Where are you going? Where do you want to be? These are all important in determining your path in life. More importantly, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? At Central Alabama Community College, you can be anything you wish to be. Don't put your future on hold and don't settle for less than excellence. We are Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. Where there's action, there's Encore. Professional. Responsive. Dedicated. Encore Rehabilitation. Team is not something you do alone. Team is plural. Team is arms, legs, blood, sweat, and soul. A lot goes into team. But what we take away stays with us forever. Hunter Price is Coosey County's Alpha Insurance agent and has the knowledge to help you with all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. With Hunter and Alpha Insurance, you have a team of professionals to access your needs, save money, and give you the personal one-on-one -on -one service in your time of need. Visit our main branch in downtown Rockford or call us at 256-377-4955 for all your insurance needs. Call Alpha. What value would you gain working with Lee Marketing Group? With four divisions under one umbrella, Sign Source, Lee Apparel, r and Media, and LMG Baker Advertising Agency, Lee Marketing Group offers a comprehensive approach. From logo design and branding to ad placement and everything in between, LMG can handle it all. For ease of time, cutting edge, results-driven marketing campaigns, think LMG. Lee Marketing Group, your comprehensive marketing solution. Well, that's going to wrap it up here for Inside the HSA Weekly. I've been your host, Brett Pritchard. We want to thank Jay Jeffcoat for being our guest today. Stay tuned. We'll catch you next week for more Inside the HSA.